Hello everyone. So today we will create a database, and inside that we will create a table, and followed by performing different operations like insert, update, and delete. Right? So let's start with creating a database. So we will name that database as SQL practice. And so you can see over here now that database is created. And I will select that database. Now what I will do, I will just create one table or TBL employed in that. We just have two columns. One is employee underscore ID, which is integer, and second is employee underscore name, which I will give it as varcare one hundred. Okay. So now I will just execute this. So now you can see my table is created okay. so basically the structure which is there it's created now we are going to insert some records in this table For insert, I have to write insert into employ So here I will give this uh, employee ID as one and name I will give it as John okay I will write one more insert over here and I will mention that employee ID as 2 this is the name okay so here what you can see over here is like we are going to insert two records okay so we have given the sequence like employee id followed by employee name so here one john two venote these are two records going to be inserted now let's check the records in the table can see we have inserted two records now let's update this record okay. so now for updating uh, I'm going to update the record where employee ID is 1 to some new value so let's write that update TBL employee Now here we are going to consider name is equal to Alex where employee ID is equal to 1. So update table such employee name is equal to Alex where employee ID is equal to 1. Let's execute this. So let me update the table name again. Okay, so it's got updated. Now let's check whether the value which we can see for implied is one is Alex. So it is Alex. So it's updated this record 
by using this employee id is 1 okay. now let's say for example we have to delete a record right okay, delete a record so in that case we are going to write delete from table name and again you have to give the condition where employee id is equal to uh, you see now this record got deleted if you check the number of records over here you can see this as uh, only one record where employed is two and so these are the different things which we saw we started with create database we started with creating a table we performed insert we performed update and we performed delete okay we are going to see a few more things related to this the different operations which we can perform like uh, we can perform a bulk update or bulk delete or drop a table or creating an identity column in our next video okay. so if you like this video please click the like button and do subscribe the channel thank you